Hello and welcome to the Sports Insights webinar. Uh, the goal of this webinar will be to find value in the opening rounds of the NCAA tournament. My name is Josh Applebaum. I'm the Senior Account Manager here at Sports Insights. And what we're going to do is basically uh, run through some of our free March Madness Live Odd software um, and identify uh, a few valuable games that are presenting a lot of value to um, NCAA basketball bettors. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just go to our homepage, www.sportsinsights.com. Uh, it'll then take you to this page that you're looking at right now with Make Smarter Bets here at the top. Uh, you're then going to click in the top right corner underneath the Login button where it says Bracket Central. Uh, this is where you go to get all of our free NCAA Tournament March Madness information. Uh, it's a one-stop shop to get all your Bracket Simulator information, which is what you're looking at now as well as information about uh, our picks and how to buy our picks, uh, a free version of our BetLab software, um, some futures uh, from offshore books, who's uh, favored to win the tournament, as well as how to download our free app. Um, but for the purposes of this webinar, we're just going to go straight to the tab that says Odds here at the top right. And now we are looking exclusively at the live odds for all of today's uh, NCAA tournament games, as well as all the other games uh, upcoming on the board. So a couple things right off the bat. Um, the live odds that you're looking at here, totally for free. Um, they're completely in real time with no delay. Um, and also what you'll be able to do is sort all the columns at the top. So if you'd like to sort by um, the time, just look chronological order, uh, get all the games lined up in order. You can hit the time tab. If you want to sort by the NSS numbers, you can just click Team, and it'll line up all the games from the NSS, NSS numbers, the Vegas rotation numbers in order, um, and then also spread over under percentage. You can click here, um, solidify and isolate uh, all the most lopsided games of the day, um, as well as all the games that are around 50-50 or presenting a lot of value. Um, what we're going to do is just go back to Time, get it all in chronological order, um, and one other thing about the Live Odds page, um, the color scheme that you're looking at, the way you read it, um, as soon as the game is final and completed, um, it'll be shaded in this uh, blue color uh, with your final score. Any games that are currently being played uh, that are in action now are going to be in this pink color. And then you'll notice that any games that go to halftime uh, will be highlighted in a teal uh, greenish color. You'll also notice that um, there are a bunch of different lit up colors on your page, uh, highlighted in different colors, and what those are um, are timestamp signatures. So the way that works, um, you know, it's a very interactive uh, live odds page in real time with no delay. And what those um, highlighted colors do is they're timestamp signatures so that as soon as any piece of information changes, as soon as a sports book changes a number, um, a line goes up or down, a total moves a point or a half point. Uh, in either direction, it's immediately going to be highlighted in a red color. And then about 30 seconds later, that red will change to orange. And then another 30 seconds later, that orange will then change to yellow. And a great thing that you can do is uh, you can pull up the complete line history for any game. All you have to do is just uh, click the number that's lit up, and it'll pull up um, the complete line history of the game. That, that's a game that uh, early information is still coming out, so not much there. But... You can click any of the um, odds listed, and it'll pull up the complete line history. So now what we're going to do is just dive right into the data, and we're going to look at uh, three games specifically today that are presenting uh, a lot of value to um, Sports Insights uh, members or users that are using our software. Um, and the first game that we're going to look at is Eastern Kentucky um, against Kansas. And this game is a 4-10 game uh, coming up in a few hours. Um, and this is the 2 versus the 15 in the south bracket. Um, so kind of the way you read the information, um, we're just going to click this information icon. Um, gets all this data in a second. But the way you read it, you, know, you have your date and time, the NSS number of the game, uh, the two teams listed. Um, this little N you see here, that is uh, what we... Um, what we use to define a neutral site game. Um, usually the home team will always be on the bottom and the away team's on the top, but obviously the tournament, it's all neutral site. Um, you then get your complete up to the, up to the second uh, spread percentages and over-under percentages. So in this situation right now, uh, Kansas is a clear public favorite. They're getting 62% of spread bets. 
uh, while their opponent, Eastern Kentucky, um, the 15 seed, is only getting 38%. Then you're going to get to your over-under. Um, the top number corresponds with the over. The bottom number corresponds with the under. So in this case, a uh, clear majority is taking the over in this game. Um, then what you're going to want to do is slide to the right, take a look at where the numbers are uh, across the marketplace. Um, first off, we have our consensus opening number. Um, this column will never, ever change. It will just only show you the consensus opening line, um, whereas all these other books that are uh, highlighted in red um, are your current numbers. So a couple things are going on here uh, in this Eastern Kentucky versus Kansas game. Uh, first off, Kansas is a clear favorite. They're getting 64%. Um, but you want to take a look at where the line opened and, and where it is now. Um, that's going to tell you a lot about where the value is on the game. So for this situation, uh, Kansas opened at minus 15, um, but right now they're at minus 13 or minus 12 and a half across the marketplace. So this right here is a very quick indication um, that we have some sharp action going on right here. Um, and I'll go through each um, you know, specific reason why uh, can't, our, uh, Eastern Kentucky has great value. But if you look here where the value meter rating is, um, we have a complete um, side on Eastern Kentucky here. The value is pretty much all on Eastern Kentucky. Um, and the first reason is the contrarian value. Contrarian just means betting against the public. Um, and in this case, Eastern Kentucky is only getting 36% and Kansas 64. So right off the bat, that is presenting a lot of value to contrarian bettors. Basically, um, you know, the public is overvaluing Kansas. You know, a big name team, historically always good in March Madness, uh, a lot of NBA prospects, um, and they get a lot of favoritism and bias by the public. Whereas Eastern Kentucky, you know, small school, not much name recognition, um, and they're being undervalued by the public. So, Contrarian-wise, there's a lot of value to bet against the public and go with Eastern Kentucky. Um, the second reason for Eastern Kentucky's value is their sharp action. So by sharp action, what we're talking about is reverse line movement or smart money, and this is exactly what's going on here. Um, Kansas opened at minus 15, and even though they're getting a clear majority of bets, their line actually dropped two full points against uh, the percentages in favor of Eastern Kentucky. And this is what we call a uh, sharp money indicator. This is reverse line movement. Basically, what it means is even though the public is really heavy on Kansas, the sharp bettors um, are against the public, and they've dropped the line two points in the direction of eastern Kentucky. Um, so basically, what that adds up to is uh, eastern Kentucky uh, presenting a lot of reverse line movement value, even though they're only getting 36% the line moved two full points in their favor against the majority of the public. Um, then you also get another great uh, reason to take Eastern Kentucky. The injuries favor Eastern Kentucky. Um, Kansas is you know, one of their best players, Joel Embiid, uh, NBA prospect, possibly number one pick. Um, he's out indefinitely with a back issue, um, and he will not play in this game. So when you minus uh, one of Kansas's best players from their roster, um, that presents a huge advantage for Eastern Kentucky. So when you add it all together, contrarian value, they're only getting 36%. Sharp action, the line moved two points in Eastern Kentucky's favor, plus injuries, um, Kansas is without Embiid. That all adds up to present really, really good value on Eastern Kentucky. Um, and the final piece to the cherry on top, basically, is if you look in this bottom middle box, this is matchups. And, you know, in the NCAA tournament, no one is at home and no one is away. It's a neutral site. Um, but if you look at the against the spread away records, uh, Eastern Kentucky does really well. They're 10 and 5. They, they cover, um, you know, two-thirds of the time uh, when they're away. And technically here, you know, both teams are away. Um, but then when you look at Kansas, when they're away, they they do not cover very often. They, they're five and eight. So when you add that, you know, the matchups data, the ATS streaks and trends favor Eastern Kentucky. You know, you could add another box here, you know, matchups, and it would it would also favor Eastern Kentucky. So long story short, the value here on this game, this uh, two versus the fifteen in the South bracket, um, the smart bet 
um, would be to follow the contrarian sharp action injuries and matchups value and take Eastern Kentucky. Um, and your last step would be to shop for the best line, try to get the best number on the board, and that would be from Bovada. So you would want to take Eastern Kentucky plus 13 and a half. Uh, the second game we're going to look at is Cal Poly against Wichita State. Um, this is a very interesting game as well. Um, when you look at all the percentages, um, and again, you can sort by um, the, the header up top, um, we, kick, we click it a couple times to, to hone in on the most lopsided games of the day, and Cal Poly um, Wichita State is at the very top. So what this means, um, we'll click the information icon, this means that um, Wichita State Cal Poly is the most lopsided game of the day, and it's presenting the, the greatest amount of contrarian value for sharp bettors, um, or, or any type of better. So basically the situation here is Cal Poly is only getting 17%. That's an incredibly low number, um, and Wichita State is getting, getting 83%. And this is where you can really um, take advantage of betting against the public. And Wichita State, last year, they were a Cinderella. You know, they came out of nowhere to, to go really far in the tournament. Um, but this year, you know, they returned pretty much their whole team, and they've gone undefeated. So they quickly changed from Cinderella to a huge public favorite. You know, they're the trendy pick, basically. So when we hone in on the most lopsided games of the day, which is this game in particular, um, there's great value to take advantage of the public overvaluing Wichita State and undervalu undervaluing um, Cal Poly. And you'll see here that Cal Poly, great contrarian value. Um, and again, you know, the public, you know, they're most consumed with media coverage, teams that are historically uh, getting a lot of publicity, big name players. Um, and with Wichita State, um, in the past two years, uh, they've really gone from a nobody to a huge favorite. Um, and also, you know, just from watching the first, uh, you know, yesterday's opening games of the NCAA tournament, we've seen a lot of close games. Um, we saw Albany hang tough against Florida up until the very end. Um, they only lost by 12. And this would be a situation somewhat similar, you know, Wichita State, um, you know, that's your number one seed in the Midwest going up against a 16. And, you know, historically, 16 seeds never beat ones, but we're not worried about who's going to win. We're worried about who's going to cover the spread. Um, so what we're going to do is, is uh, follow the contrarian mindset, bet against the public, um, and also take uh, Cal Poly in the points here. Um, and another, you know, thing that is helpful here is that if you look at the line, it opened at minus 16 and a half Wichita State, um, and it actually went down a half point, uh, down to 16. So this is a case where, you know, you might be a little weary of betting against the public if, you know, it went from minus 16 and a half, now it's up to minus 18 or minus 19. But the fact that the line stayed relatively the same and actually, you know, fell a point, um, that leads you to believe that there's some reverse line movement, even though it, it's not triggered here, um, you know, causing the line to slightly stay the same or, or drop a little bit in the favor of Cal Poly only getting 17%. So in this case, um, you know, at Sports Insights, we have a philosophy of betting against the public. We love being contrarian. We love following the sharp bettors and betting against the public. And when you add all that up, um, the value here is on Cal Poly. So what we would do, you know, identified Cal Poly as having a lot of value, shop for the best line, and it looks like there's a couple 16 and a halfs hanging, uh, MGM Mirage and Bovada. So we would take the points and take Cal Poly uh, plus 16 and a half. So you can X out of that. And the final game we're going to look at is NC Central against Iowa State. Okay, so that is right here. So in this case, um, this is another interesting game that presents a lot of value. Um, Iowa State, uh, somewhat similarly, is is really really getting a ton of public money and public a uh, ton of public bets in their favor. Um, this is actually the second most lopsided game on the board, so you're taking advantage of that contrarian value, um, and it's second only to the game we just looked at, the Cal Poly Wichita. Um, Iowa State uh, is getting 77 percent, 
NC Central is only getting 23%. And this is a situation where, you know, the public sees a three seed, you know, against a 14 seed, uh, and this is in the East bracket, and there's already a huge bias toward the higher seed. Um, so what we're looking at here, huge lopsided percentages. The public is vastly on Iowa State, uh, your second most lopsided game of the day. Um, and what we're going to do is take a look at um, how the line is moved. So this is, this is a perfect situation of reverse line movement. This is a great example of um, not only betting against the public contrarian-wise, but the sharp action really, really favors uh, NC Central here. Um, and what we're talking about here in terms of sharp action is reverse line movement. So when you look at the percentages, you know, Iowa State, huge public favorite. Um, but take a look at the line. The line opened at Iowa State minus 9.5, um, but it's actually dropped a significant amount, um, a full point and a half against um, the clear favorite, Iowa State. So basically, even though the public is vastly on Iowa State here, the line dropped a full point and a half in the direction of NC Central, who's only getting 23%. Um, so this is a situation where you know, even the, even though the public is huge on Iowa State, really the sharp betters, um, you know, the guys who we want to follow and you want to follow, um, you know, bet against the public, follow um, the sharp action, um, lends itself to uh, you believing, and, and it's really true here, that, um, you know, the play here would be NC Central. So NC Central only getting 23%, but the line moved a full point and a half against Iowa State and toward NC Central. And, you know, this is a situation where uh, reverse line movement, um, you know, think of it just logically from a, from a sports book's perspective or the Vegas perspective. You know, if, if all the tickets that you're receiving and all the bets you're, you're, you're tracking and, and taking down are on one side, you know, in this case Iowa State, why would you drop the line uh, a full point and a half and give everyone who's already taking Iowa State an even better number to take them at. You know, that makes no sense. You would think that, you know, if everyone's on one side, in this case Iowa State, 77%, um, then the sports books would jack the line up, you know, move them to mi from minus 9.5 to minus 10 or minus, you know, 10.5, minus 11. Um, but the exact opposite took place here. So even though, um, you know, Iowa State, is getting a clear majority, the line dropped in NC Central's favor. And again, you know, just from the sportsbook uh, perspective, you know, they're not going to just be, you know, hand out uh, favorite uh, favors and, and do nice things to give the public a better shot at it. You know, that's the absolute farthest front thing from their mind. Their, their number one goal and their number one priority is to make money. And they make money when the public loses. So from a public perspective, you know, they say, you know, wow, Iowa State started at minus nine and a half, and, and now they're at minus eight. I can get them at minus eight. You know, people continue to pound Iowa State and, and play into the sports books um, favor here. You know, they don't mind dropping the line a full point and a half, you know, and giving the better number because they've received all this sharp action uh, from these sharp betters on the other side, uh, causing the line to drop a full point and a half in the direction of NC Central. <laughs> Um, so those are three great games that are presenting a lot of value, um, starting with Eastern Kentucky, Kansas, and then Cal Poly, Wichita State, and NC Central, Iowa State. Um, and those are uh, just, you know, great games that present value, and, and using our free software, um, you know, you can, you can identify this value for yourself just by, you know, looking closely at the percentages, uh, where the bets are falling, taking a look at where the game opened and, and where it is now and lining up that movement with the percentages. You know, does that make sense? You know, everyone's on one side and the line moved up. Okay, that, that's a direction you would expect. But, or is there something, you know, different going on? Is there, you know, something more peculiar that, that would raise your eyebrows? And those are the situations with the reverse line movement in the games we looked at, you know, especially that NC Central game, you know, dropping a full half, point and a half against um, everyone taking Iowa State, you know, that means NC Central is, is really the play here. Um, and one last thing I forgot to add, um, you know, your final step would be to take a look at the board. 
and look for the highest number, shop for the best line. Um, so you would bypass these eights, and you would take it at eight and a half at either Bovada, Sportsbook, or MGM Mirage if you're in Vegas. Um, so that's um, that's it for me. Um, I really hope this was beneficial and kind of just pointed you in the right direction. You know, looking at the percentages, looking at the way the line is moved, um, opening up that information icon and checking out the value meter. You know, is it a situation where um, you know, we're looking at that Kansas game where there's just, uh, you know, a full value meter, which is what you want to look for. You know, that's just getting all your ducks in a row um, on Eastern Kentucky plus um, the great betting trends. Uh, or is it a situation where, you know, a different game that we looked at, you know, has, has a different uh, value at play here. You know, maybe it's reverse line movement, sharp action, um, you know, or contrarian or injuries. Um, but that's really the way that you can utilize this free software. You know, you don't have to pay us a dime. Uh, we want you um, to get a leg up. We want you to win, and this is how our free software allows you to identify the value and, um, you know, make the smartest bet possible that you can. Um, so now I'll just open it up. Does anyone have any questions? Uh, feel free to type them in, um, and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Okay, so the first question coming from John Wilson, um, how do I purchase your picks? Uh, great question, John. It's very, very simple. All you have to do is take a look at the board, and you will notice that there is a star next to any game that we have a pick on. So all you have to do is click the star, and then you'll fill in uh, your, your name, your email address, your credit card, and you'll be charged $10 for the pick and then um, the pick will be sent directly to you, and you can also log into your account from the home page, and they'll be listed on um, your dashboard home page as well. So the second question from Jennifer Ralston, um, how do I purchase more than one pick? Do you have any discounted rates available? Uh, that's a great question. Yes, we do. Um, all you have to do is take a look up here at the top and click this Our Picks tab. Um, once you click this Our Picks tab, you're going to get all the information uh, about our picks historically. Um, we want to be as transparent as possible. We want you to um, know exactly um, you know, how strong we are, how good we are at what we do. Um, we're not going to you know, have starred picks and, and tout all our records and, and brag about them. We're just going to let the records speak for themselves. Um, so this is where you can take a look at how each pick is performed. Um, not only this season, but historically in the past. Um, but to answer Jennifer's question, um, we have a special discounted rate on our college basketball full season picks package. So basically, if you just want to buy one pick, you know, individually, that's that's great. You know, go to the odds page, look for that starred game, click that, purchase it individually. Um, but it's to your advantage, and it's a much better value to just purchase the picks package completely. Um, so with the picks package, it's only $149. It's a one-time payment, um, and it'll give you all of the college basketball picks, um, not only for the NCAA tournament, um, but also the other tournaments going on. So the NIT, the CIT, the lesser-known ones, um, we're crunching the numbers for every single college basketball game, You know, not only the NCAA tournament, but just every game on the board, and we will send out those picks um, throughout the day as soon as we uh, find a great uh, a great game that presents a lot of value. So I hope that answered your question. Okay. So we have a couple other ones. Uh, what is your opinion on parlays? Um, from Marty. Uh, that's a great question. Um, parlays are a little tough. Um, you know, from our perspective at Sports Insights, we're just looking at individual games. Um, when you get into parlays and teasers, they're really a lot of fun, and, you know, you get great lines with the teasers and parlays, you know, two teams you're sure about that are going to win, and you parlay them, and, you know, you feel great about it. But usually, you know, it's kind of a fool's bet, and uh, it's really tough to get to predict one team to win, let alone two or, or multiple teams. So um, we're going to leave that up to you. Obviously, you can use our software to identify the most valuable games on the board, and and if you want to parlay them together or tease them, that's totally up to you. Um, but from our perspective, we're just going to stick with these individual games. 
um, and, and stay away from parlays and teasers. Okay, so would you recommend um, playing any of the picks you mentioned? Um, absolutely. All these games we looked at, Eastern Kentucky, Kansas, Cal Poly, Wichita State, NC Central, Iowa, um, we've all uh, identified great value, and I would definitely think about betting them. Um, but just to be very clear, the only bets that we specifically endorse and tell you to bet on are our best bet picks, so the picks that you see the star next to. Um, so in a perfect world, you know, we would have best bet picks on all those games. Um, but unfortunately, you know, I can't talk about a best bet pick unless you purchase it. Um, but the games we look at, we looked at absolutely great value. Um, and it would be a, a good idea to, to bet on all those games that we hit on uh, that showed a lot of value. All right. So um, I really want to thank you all for attending. Uh, it was great showing you the tools and features of our free March Madness software. Um, and again, you know, I would spend a lot of time here. It's great value. You know, you don't have to spend a dollar, but you get all this great data. And this is going to be up throughout the NCAA tournament, so you can go to it every single day. And, and you know, we have all the new uh, games that are populating coming up. Um, so all this data is great. And it's totally free. And, you know, the goal is to, uh, you know, really show you where the value is based on our software and, and help you make smart bets and, and help you make money. Um, and we're on your side, and anything we can do um, to, to make that happen is our number one goal. Um, so, again, uh, thank you very much. Um, you know, we also, I'll leave you with this, uh, we pride ourselves on customer service. Um, we want you to feel, um, you know, welcome and, 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 and able to contact us with any question you may have. Um, you can contact us in three different ways. You can give us a call at our office phone. Uh, the number is 877-838-2853. Um, so feel free to give us a call and, and talk to us directly. We'd be happy to uh, answer any question you may have. Um, you can also um, shoot us an email at our uh, office email. It's help at sportsinsights.com. Um, but the quickest, fastest, uh, best overall way to contact us is just by clicking this Live Help tab in blue at the top uh, middle part of your page, and that will connect you immediately to either myself or one of my coworkers, and we would be uh, happy to uh, help you out any way that we can. Um, and lastly, you know, if you want to rehash any of the stuff um, that I just went over, you know, you forgot it, you were unclear about it, um, feel free to watch um, our support video up top. Um, and again, anyone who showed up late or was a little late to this webinar, um, it is being recorded, and it will be available on our homepage, uh, in our blog, and as well as from our YouTube account. Um, and if anyone's on Twitter, uh, definitely give us a follow. We're just at Sports Insights, um, and we'll be tweeting out uh, this webinar video as well. Um, so thanks again. I uh, had a great time showing you the data. And if anyone has any other questions, definitely reach out to us. Um, and look forward to working with you again. Good luck, and uh, enjoy the madness.